Thanks for having me, Marty. Listen, there's an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Why is that hard hitting you? Not officially, no. We're going to celebrate, or at least talk a about of interest, but one year anniversary. Are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I'm super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> well, I was semi-depressed, and then he said porn stars, and now he decided, oh, back to the fucking music. Larry Fassender. Fassender. We just get this over with. I am highly done with this. This oh, is a spider. I wonder if I can get, like, everybody killed. Memento Mori. The hours until dawn. Ten hours until dawn. So this is all take place in, like, one night? Oh, fuck me. There's already a guy with a machete. Literally just got off the bus. Sam, Hannah's best friend, diligent, considerate... And adventurous. Okay. Hello? Someone there? Path to cable car station 2102. Oakley Dokley. What? Oh, she can't do the fast look. I was gonna do like a no, 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 no. She can kind of do it. There's like flashlights up in the distance. Oh, this game has a really odd vibe. The gate's wow, busted. Climb over, Chris. Ah, damn it. He wrote it. What did he write it on? Oh, it's just some dumb shit. Oh, oh Jesus, just... never mind. Come on, just smack it real hard. Let's go over. 
I mean, I don't want to go over the the pikes. Safe, quick. Again, who gives a shit about safe? Skate fast, eat ass. Climb, j uh, climb. What? Why would I want to jump? I mean, I, I guess it could have been quicker, but fuck it. Why does it sound like a dog's watching us? Really sneaky dog. Oh, I got the burps. When the don't move icon is on the screen, keep the wireless controller as still as possible. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. I love to move. Cutie. Aw, oh, you little cute thing, you. If you're unsure of what to do next, you can press. You can see your current objective. Oh, cool. Current objective head to the cable car. Relationship status. Eh, so far. Pretty good. Except with Jess and Mike. Kind of meh, 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 meh. Uh. Not really funny or romantic or curious, but brave, charitable, and honest. Okay. Okay, so we got character info. Okay. That's pretty good then. Fucking birds. Birdies ain't gonna get me. Might as well read everything. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Oh, we already knew this. Black butterflies pro prophesized, prophesized the dreamer's death, warned of dangerous events, tragedy affecting friends, visions to help and guide, dreams of luck and good fortune. And oh, hey! As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. What? But, like... What? <laughs> the future is uncertain whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Okay, so a bird can fly. Fucking bird can fly. The past is beyond our control. Yeah, those there's graffiti in some pretty uh, gnarly places. Uh, nope. Actually, ah, uh, nope. Chris, you here? Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. That would be me, though, running into the fucking pole. Right here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Clothes bag. Snoop! What do you think I am? Uh -huh. Butterfly effect appears when your actions have changed the narrative of the game. He knows it. Chris! <laughs> Has a crush on Ashley. Protective, humorous, and methodical. He kind of looks like a fucking rapist. You scared me. I I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? 
I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. You sound like a fucking stoner. Gonna blow your mind, bro. Who want to poster? This. Milgram no, Victor, sex mail, six a visit to two, black like apartment. Someone thought so. Oh come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Increase my chances of survival if I complete mysteries. Uh, pretty rad, there's, right? There's a range. Oh. Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Ah, uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? I mean, why not, not fire a fucking rifle? All right, here goes. Oh, hey, I get to play as Chris. Use the right stick to aim, press something, something to shoot. Maybe to... I feel like this is going to become a bigger mechanic later on. Semi auto. Wow, nice shooting tips. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. I don't know what this do I can't see the targets. That's a beer bottle, well, okay. anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Now, I'm kind of against animal cruelty, but 20% of people actually shot that. 20% of people looked at the squirrel and was like, nice fuck shot. that squirrel. Your ass just got sacked. How many fucking shots does that thing have? Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Just take, take the gun, why not? Butterfly effect update. I wonder if I could take a look. Case of Chris, blah, 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 blah. Butterfly effect. Any of your business? Chris was offended by Sam's indiscretion. Sam looked at Chris's incoming message. Rats with bushy tails. Nature remained in balance. Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. Okay, so you can fuck with nature. I feel like the best way to play this game is to not create tension between the characters and leave nature in balance, but, you know, I'm just not gonna shoot animals, and I don't care who I piss off. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Hey, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked and keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Fucking mountain men. After you. Oh, real gentlemen. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Huh. A hotel and a sanatorium. <sighs> and I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Nope, did not mean to do that. 
Me first. Finally. You coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but... Okay. Hey, I was standing. Like, right Just in front like of the car. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, yeah, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Fuck it. Already talking about the damn themes of the game. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, trusting, irreverent, and confident. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Upper new people. Time to meet and greet. Oh, so she's new? Jessica, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. <gasps> what the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? She seems pretty fucking nice already. I just hold my hand there. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. I mean, yeah, just, I'm with Mike. Who gives a fuck? Mike and M Split were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. That's what they all say. Alright, alright, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. She also sounds like a bit of a dick. But who knows? I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, and active. So a jock. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? 
I think I got up and pressed a button as Jessica, and that was it. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Yeah. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Mike, Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, and persuasive. So he also seems like a bit of a dick. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Wasn't that what Up happened a woods, year ago? Just a little spooky. harmless fun? Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Just try to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Back off, Mike. I, I, fu I fucking hate Em. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hate you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. That'd be me. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. See you, man. See ya. Right, See ya. Me in a nutshell. Oh crap! What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Fuck, I'd leave her alone. I don't want to fucking go. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Fuck, I hope M burns in hell. I have a specific way I want M to die, so... I, I mean, I don't want her to die. If she can survive, then I might make her survive, but I have no idea how to make people survive. I know how to make people die, though. That's easy. <gasps> Ashley. Has a crush on Chris. Inquisitive. Fourth. Forthright. Okay. And academic. So she sounds like a bit less of a dick. Just spy on fucking. I think that's Sam. No, Jessica. The entire time. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly, and not in the friend zone kind of way. Oh. I might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh! <laughs> That that have been to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hey, wow, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Dan. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking no, at? No, 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 anything no. juicy with that thing? Uh, it, let me check it out. No. Uh, Dad, take a look. You need to see it. Um, sure. Uh, go go ahead. Knock yourself out. Yes. Yeah. Take a good old look, see doodle. <sighs> Son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Yeah. Ever? I don't know. God I... damn it! Matt. Jessica. 
Oh, back to Jessica. This is like a really odd soap opera. Read a book or check cell phone. Why is this a hard hitting choice? Like, why? Um, fuck, I don't know. Check the phone. If you got something important, then check it. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Oh, fucking snowball. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, oh, you better get fucked. Oh, you fucked up. Hey, you know that? Well, we got that romantic music. Where are you hiding, little chicken? Fuck, you saw me hide behind a bench. Get him. Oh, ah. Fucking 360 no hey. scope. Oh, snap. Fuck me, she's got skills. <laughs> Come on. Hey, Mike. Boom! Oh, oh, Christ. No, you got me. <laughs> the the snow's okay. actually pretty thick. That would have given him like a concussion. <laughs> I exaggerate maybe just a bit. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Oh, this is a right. sexual. Right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Um. I'll fucking snowball this bastard. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah? But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Whoa. Quote, well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Okay, dokey. Back to this guy. And how are we feeling? Why, I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. If you're referencing my real life, I'm sitting in my room alone, playing video games. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Oh, fuck you. Now pick up that book. Turn the pages. Uh. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Hmm. So, women or men? Men, to be honest. Ooh. Interactive media. Plane scare me or crowd scare me? Probably planes, because I'm not scared of people. Boop. I fear drowning. I fear. I don't want to fucking drown. 
sucks. Snakes or rats? Um, I don't know. Like, what's more scary? I feel like I'm not really scared of either, so I have to pick generally what would I hate fighting more or taking on or coming in a counter with. That'd be a snake. Just, just looking. Um, guns are scary, knives are scary. Yeah, knives are scary because a gun is just pow and done. Knives are like carving you up. Bugs or snakes? Oh, cockroaches specifically? Fuck cockroaches. Bugs are nasty ass motherfuckers. We got the scarecrow or the clown. I'm not really scared of clowns. I don't have a rational, I irrational fear of clowns. Nor do I have one of scarecrows, though. This is a tough decision again. Um, probably clowns. I say clowns. Gore disgusts me, or crows are scary. <laughs> what? Um, gore does disgust me, but, like, not to the extent where... I but crows are not scary, so gore is gonna disgust me. Oh. Fuck you. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Kind of moving around a lot. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Oh, okay. Sp spiders. Spy spiders. 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 Um, if your needles or gore disgust me. Um. Fuck. Probably needles more. Okay, needles don't scare me, but gore's not actually that bad. Zombies? Zombies scare me. You have fucking zombies, man? Like, if you were to actually encounter a real life zombie. If your needles, if your dogs, probably feel needles more than dogs. Yeah. Storms or needles? Needles. Storms are fun. Storms are chill. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders, zombies. A needle. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. It's gonna be an odd combo. Zombies wielding spiders. No, zombies covered in spiders wielding needles. Previously on Until Dawn. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Hannah. I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Oh. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Uh -huh. Son of a bitch! Yep. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. It's like a big theme for this game. I wonder why. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? That feels the same to me. Alright, we might Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother. Complex, thoughtful, and loving. If only some of this were true.
Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? Well, I mean, I'm gonna wait till this cutscene's fucking done. Yo, but we're yo, playing as Chris now. You get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Oh my god. Um. Huh. Okay. Well, Rory, you doing all right? Or gossip? Huh. Hmm. I'm asking how he's doing. We don't need to get hey. right into the gossip, right? You doing yeah. all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that... No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be, like, a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. Confident. You gotta be confident. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Aww, you sweetie pies. Finally! I got free time so I could just, you know, set the game down and go play something else. This is nice. I mean, so far, nothing extremely scary. I got spooked like one or two times in this entire thing. Um, it's been about an hour. I'm gonna put it down now. I'm gonna come back to this. This is a good setup. I might change the setup if I find something better. But for now, setup's just gonna just gonna stay the same. Um, I'm gonna go play some other games now. Um, see you later. <laughs>